What's good, y'all? And welcome to my review of this week's episode of Dragon Ball Super. So let us begin. Now, as you guys know, we're about to see verse two, ver Zeno verse footage, guys. Yeah, got through all the footage I have for the beta of Fighter Z. So we're back to Zeno verse until I get my hands on Fighter Z. So let us begin. Start this episode off with Goku, Beerus, and Whis. They're on their way to the tenth universe to go visit the Kai's. Because, as we guys, as we saw in last week's episode, um, or a few weeks ago when Goku went against Goku Black, Goku Black, uh, Beerus recognized that, and Whis recognized that Goku's Black editor reminds, it's very, they, it's, reminds, it's very similar to another editor they developed for, which leads to the 10th universe, because it reminds them of someone from their universe, and they're also looking around, checking to see if any, if, like, you know, their time rings are in case, because, you know, uh, Goku Black had a time ring, so they go to the 10th universe, they meet, um, the Kai we saw in the OP, Zamatsu, uh, yeah, Z uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Zamatsu, and um, the uh, Supreme Kai of the 10th universe. Uh, so they're pretty talking, as soon as, go, as soon as they land, Goku's immediately charging to Zamatsu, be like, hey, fight me, fight me, fight me, fight me, fight me, fight me, because you know Goku loves a because you know Goku loves my sister. You put him in front of anyone, he'll immediately want to pick a fight with him. So and then you know he talks, he tells about Goku Black and you know that they met this guy tiring blah 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 and while uh, Goku's still pestering Zomatsu like you know fight me fight me fight me fight me fight me fight me fight 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 and Zomatsu's like you mere mortal get out of my face it's like uh, and then like, he starts touching him like you know oh man you're really ripped for someone this small you're really ripped do you try to work out what? Sorry, that was my mom knocking. Anyway, back to what I said. So he's like, oh man, do you, you're actually surprised muscular. Do you work out a lot? And and that's why he's like, oh, you mere mortal. Don't you dare touch me. It's about to bit slap him. And the Supreme Guy's like, Zumatsu, hold yourself back. Uh, calm yourself. And so then the Supreme Kai shows, you know, Beerus and Whis, the ti their time rings are all well accounted for. And then, you know, Goku's still pestering him, and then the Supreme Kai's just like, just spar with this mortal already. Just spar with him. And then and then he says, But make sure you pull your punches and then and then goes like, Hey, no pulling punches! We are you better go all out on me, you hear? And Beerus like, Yes, you listen to what the Saiyan says. You go all out, or you'll die. So then Goku goes Super Saiyan 2, yes, he goes Super Saiyan 2, finally, for once, instead of going, you know, he always goes base Super Saiyan 1, every time he starts, but he never goes Super Saiyan 2 or 3 or blue, but yeah, this time he starts to fight off Super Saiyan 2. I don't know why he doesn't just go straight to blue, he's going against the Supreme Kai, I'm sure, pretty sure he can take the power of Super Saiyan blue, but whatever, I don't know, why does Goku always hold back? This was like, I said, you want to fight, Goku? Go all out! You're telling him to go out, why don't you go all out? Put up the Kaioken technique as well. But then go Super Saiyan 2, Kaioken, and then we'll, then, and then we'll have a good fight. But, so anyway, they go, they have a battle. Uh, Beer, looks like uh, Zamatsu's getting over him where he, like, you know, dies one of Goku's attacks. And it's about him in the back of the head, you know, like Beerus did in episode 4. Goku's like, I ain't having this shit today. And he counters in, they just, you know, brawl. And then Zumatsu powers up, and that's when they realize, and that's when Beerus realized, and we realize that they're, that uh, Zumatsu's energy is actually very similar to Goku's Black Moon now. Now, I'm sure everyone, that, like, when the show episode is coming out, sub, everyone has had, like, oh, maybe Zumatsu becomes Goku Black. Maybe he is Goku Black. But Blah, blah. Now, as I now, like I said, guys, I don't watch Dragon Ball Super subbed. I never did. And when the Goku Black art, that was even before I was even into anime. Really, I mean, I watched CD, I watched, like, you know, it's like the Cell Saga of DBZ, but that's only because I wanted to know what's all the hype about Dragon Ball Z. So I knew about, like, you know, what happened later on the arc when, um, spoiler alert, I guess, when Zumatsu teams up with Goku Black and they, tr and they end up fusing together. I know about that part, so Zumatsu being Goku Black is, out of the is not, unless he, be so if I had to guess, maybe he time trap, maybe he, like, created Goku Black, or, and then he, like, created Goku Black, or, you know, maybe he did become Goku Black in the future, and then he just, you know, used one of the time rings to go to the future to help Goku Black out against Trunks, Vegeta, and Goku around, around the end of the arc. I don't know, but I feel like it's probably somewhere along where he might have had to had a hand in the creation of Goku Black. That's at least my theory. So, and that's pretty much, and that's where the episode, and that's where the whole thing ends, like, you know, they leave, they realize that their energy is similar, and then, and then Beerus like, I say we just kill him right here and now, so we don't have to deal with this shit later. And Goku's like, oh, come on, Beerus, he's a, no, no, he's a nice guy, and then, when I heard that, I was like, this reminds me a lot of the four, of The Last Jedi. Now, minor spoilers ahead for The Last Jedi, so if you've not seen The Last Jedi, first of all, what's wrong with you, go watch The Last Jedi, it's fucking awesome. 
But as if we, if as you guys know, if you saw the Last Jedi, you guys remember that um, around like you no, know, well, we got a little bit more backstory of Kylo Ren's backstory in the movie. We saw from his perspective, and Luke's perspective. We're like, uh, when Luke Skywalker, you know, Luke Skywalker felt the dark side coming in to Kylo Ren or Ben Solo, I guess, and he wanted to make sure to not have a repeat of Darth Vader. He want he ended up why he had to he want he had to make sure that doesn't happen again or it doesn't go to the dark. He thought the best was to kill. So he grabbed. You remember he like pulled out a green lightsaber and, and lit it off. But that that minute's hesitation, that middle bit of hesitation where it took him, where Kylo Ren woke up and you know saw him and grabbed his saber and then that's when they that's when Kylo Ren was born. Was from that hesitation of Luke, of Luke, you know, not you know going with without going with the kill from the start. So it kind of reminded me of that little part from the Last Jedi. So maybe oh no, maybe they might have a hand in that. So maybe I don't know. Maybe this might turn out a little similar to the Last Jedi. I don't know, but yeah, that's cool. So then after that, we get back to um, Earth with uh, now Trunks. Trunks has a conversation with uh, Krillin. And Krillin's just like, oh yeah, Trunks, I'm happily married. He's like, oh, to who? And how is she like? And, Tr and Krillin's like, oh fuck. Oh fuck, 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 fuck! Because he's like, because as you guys know, he married eighteen, and we all know Trunks' history with androids. So that was it. So and then the girl's like, uh, uh, oh man, these stars are sure. He's like trying to avoid the question and change the subject. Here were so then later, eighteen shows and Sue's Trunks Senior. She's like, oh, eighteen, and grabs his sword, and then girl's like, hold on, hold on, hold on, Trunks, hold on, that's my wife, your wife, and then you know his daughter pe peeks her head out of from Trunk from uh. Um, 18's back, and then, uh, and then Trump's like, oh, okay. Then 18 kind of like teases him a little, a little bit, like, like, huh, I hear you killed me in your uni in your time, like, it was you or Earth. And he's like, hm, I want retribution for that. And so, yeah, when she's joking anyway, but yeah. That was a nice little scene, cause, and Trump's is just as confused as all of us were when we first saw, when we first saw go that grill, that, that Krill was married to, uh, Bull, to, um, a 18, and the booze, cause I was, cause I was like, wait, what? Huh? Who? Huh? I'm sure we were all just as confused as Trunks. I'm like, yep, I was right with you there, buddy. So after that, we get to like pretty much like around the end of so we kind of slowed down a little bit, in my opinion, of where you know we're in like this forest area. Trunks is kind of just chilling around, and then you know Mai and and um um I'm King. Emperor Peel Off shows up, and, you know, they're, like, doing the thing, and then, you know, of course, you know, Mai is crushing hardcore on Future Trunks, and then, and then, you know, so, you know, their shenanigans ensued so that Mai can have a few seconds with Future Trunks, and then Kid Trunks shows up, he's like, hey, Mai, I love your personality, like, he goes on her hardcore, like, I'm like, he's blushing hardcore, too, I'm like, bro, ease up, ease up, you're screwing yourself against yourself! Since the future trucks such a cock blocking his kid self, and, and that's where the episode ends with like you know that going down. Overall, really great episode. My final verdict is a nine out of ten. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter if you like my social response below. And as always, come back for more. See you guys next time.